I think you have to be a dreamer because you have to visualise the life you want. I always wanted my own farm, and that was always there in my mind that's who I wanted to be. I had this draw, this yearning to return to the hills, and it just came over me. And for me, it was that strong, this excitement to a life that I'd longed for, and it was going to be my life. My name's Alison O'Neill. I'm a hill farmer, a shepherdess, first and foremost, looking after a flock of sheep. The farm is very much a nature farm. It's the long meadows, the grasses, it's the wildflowers, and it's giving nature that chance. I started 22 years ago with that in my mind. My flock of sheep, which I absolutely love, and I do love them, <laughs> are fibre only, so I don't slaughter. When I first came here, they weren't. I, I ran the place much like most of the farmers. But slowly, I became so connected to the sheep and the life, that I just felt I couldn't play God. So now, all my wool comes off my girls and is either turned into wool for tweeds, for furnishings, curtaining, clothing, and dog leads. Even if it's a busy day, I give myself that half an hour just to sit. So if it's a wet or cold day, I'm in the Land Rover with the flask. And if it's a nice day, I'll deliberately stop somewhere beautiful so I can sit and enjoy a view and enjoy my coffee. That flask has been with me 22 years. I was born and bred on a farm in the distance, so I was born into it. But my family sold the farms when I was 12. And I'd moved away, I tried lots of different jobs, and I had this sort of longing to come back to the land. I wanted this for me, but more I wanted it for my daughter. I wanted to bring my daughter up in the kind of place that I was brought up. I couldn't give her all the things that a lot of children get, but I could give her this. It's easy to see this looks like a very idyllic, very beautiful life I'm living, um, which it is, but it is a hard and harsh life. You know, we have deep winter, freezing cold, 20-foot snow drifts, frozen pipes in the house. I will say it really is the 22 hardest but happiest days of my life. I felt the farm almost needed me. It needed loving, it needed bringing back to, I, I think, what it should be. And in exchange, it's given me an enormous contentment, like a, a really warm feeling that I've done something. My daughter's been raised on the farm. I've made people happy. I share this life with people. I can't think that I would want anything else from life. This sort of tiny 37 acres of heaven, which is here now, this is it. There isn't anything else.